17 years ago today, I pledged my love and commitment to you. I promise to love, honor, comfort, and keep you. I pledge to be by your side for better or worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, and to remain faithful to you as long as we both shall live. At the time, I was too young to fully understand the magnitude of what those vows meant, but I fully understand them now, and I promise to continue to consciously uphold them. I believe in this marriage more than ever, and I renew my vows and reaffirm my love and commitment to you. 17 years ago today, I pledge my love and commitment to you. I promise to love, honor, and comfort you. I pledge to be by your side for better or worse, in sickness and in health, for richer or poorer, and to remain faithful to you as long as we both shall live. At the time, I was too young to fully understand the magnitude of what those vows meant, but I fully understand them now and promise to continue and consciously uphold them. <laughs> no joke there. <laughs> I believe in this marriage more than ever, and I renew my vows and reaffirm my love and commitment to you. Once again, but for the first time, beginning your brand new commitment to each other, you may kiss. As we've grown up together, we've gotten used to each other, we know how the other thinks, sometimes we irritate each other or take each other for granted. But when I slow my mind down, I realize how lucky I am to share my life with the person who I feel was custom made for me. You influenced me for the better. I've come to see all the stumbling blocks of our relationship as essential building material that has built a solid foundation. There's a depth to you that I don't even think you understand. You have been a remarkable teacher of love to me. We've learned to be aware of our egos and when they grab the wheel for a short period of time, we recognize it and release the energy in a healthy way. You have made tremendous growth in a short amount of time. Few people could spend as much time as we do together and stay in harmony. We were immature kids when we got married with selfish intentions, but we've grown up together and we've expanded our understanding of what it means to be married. I truly adore you as a person and lucky to have you as my wife. There's no limit to our love and I feel the well deepens every day. I love you very much and I am grateful for all aspects of you. I am confident I would have never found inner peace without you in my life. You are perfect, you are blameless, you are beautiful. How could I not love someone so beautiful inside and out? When we officially met, we were young and naive and knew nothing about ourselves besides what was on the surface, but we totally knew there was something beyond words going on between us. It was like we always knew each other, with an unusual level of comfort from the first moment we interacted. I remember staying up all night, discussing all of the things we had in common, and I'll never forget the look on your face when I mentioned Tesla as one of the bands I liked. I connected with you on a level I never knew existed. We have always had a lot of the same views, humor, goals, and many of the same interests, especially now. We even started the same career together, one that we both love. We rarely disagree on anything. We spend more time together than most couples, yet we also remain content in each other's company. Every stage of our evolution from immaturity to our spiritual journey has aligned perfectly with each other. Even when we were at low points and feeling against each other, we were still at the same stages of life. We struggled with almost the exact same issues and dealt with them in eerily similar ways. This is why even in the lowest of lows and even when our immature, unconscious selves were trying to fill our inner voids in destructive ways, we remained together. Just when we were feeling the most like we should just call it quits, we both fell into our spiritual journey at the exact same time. 
Although we didn't realize it at the time of our lowest points, it was never each other we were against. It was the things within ourselves that we didn't want to face or didn't know we needed to face. I have loved you throughout everything we have been through, the good and the bad, but my love was sometimes hidden by resentment and buried beneath my layers of insecurities and fear of letting my guard down. I unconsciously tested your love for me time and time again to subconsciously give you the opportunity to leave. You never did. We finally know our true selves and what it all means for us as a couple. We never had a lot of outward conflict, but we know now how to handle it when we do, in the right way and in the way that leads to growth, and it helps that we laugh almost every day. I am grateful for all of the moments in our lives as they have brought us to where we are today, and this is the only place I want to be, as I am, as you are, as we are together. Not only do I say I do again, but I say it with complete understanding and I say it with much more certainty than I even did the first time. I choose you over everyone again. I love you so much more now and so much more than I even show you. Our marriage is rooted very deeply in the past and in the truly special bond we share. And I look forward to continuing this journey with you.